experience is going to be. So that's that teaching mission that we've got. Other things that we do is uh, our organization, I mentioned the Architecture Review Board in Pensacola, we helped create that years ago. Uh, Earl Bowden was our director, was our president for years. Earl was, uh, Earl Bowden was our board chairman for 33 years. Uh, he was also the president of the Architecture Review Board for about 20 of those. We helped create those by going and doing the surveys and getting all these historic districts on the National Register. Some buildings are, but the district is, and so that helps if the building's not. Um, our organization still has a role with the Architecture Review Board in that of the seven-member board, our board makes recommendations for two members. Uh, and the city, we have, the city ultimately makes that decision, but they, they've always taken our recommendation. Uh, and Ross, our historic preservationist, serves as an advisor to that board. He doesn't vote, but he goes and does the research, and we're able to go through our historic documents and photographs to, if somebody wants to do something to the building, and we can look at what was originally there. So we play that role, and that role's been pretty busy as of late. Uh, a lot of building going on everywhere. A lot of properties being redone, and so it, it's important. I mean, the reason people want to live in those areas is because of the historic character, and we want to make sure we maintain that. And, but we still have to adapt it to use the building. Other things that we sort of do that people don't always, I mentioned we do a research archives. Uh, we have done a number of history heritage trails downtown. Uh, we've got a colonial archaeological trail that goes the direction I go. You can go any way you want to. But from St. Michael's Cemetery down through the historic district all the way up to the top of North Hill where the uh, Fort George little replica piece is. We do those, they've got signs, we've even got some little voice things that you can hear people uh, expose some of the archaeology, so we manage those trails. Uh, we did a Maritime Heritage Trail that runs from Project Green Shores over by Gulf Power downtown, all the way down to Bruce Beach, and we've been recently working with the city to do a Bruce, Bruce Beach Trail that goes from Bruce Beach up to Belmont, the builders area. So we, we kind of get out, take it off of our site proper and do those things. Um, are we, have staff that are members of local organizations um, statewide, the Florida Trust for Historic Preservation, the Florida Association of Museums, so we try to stay involved on the state level with those. Our organization started in 1967. It was a direct result. This was a thing that was moving across the country. Of 1966, there was a national preservation.